I'm out in York, Pennsylvania, and I'm about to walk into Just Press Play, a small video game store chain. They got four stores. They got one in York. They have two in Lancaster. Their main stores in Lancaster, from what I understand. And there's one somewhere else. The one that's somewhere else, I found some good games there over the years, but I haven't really, it used to be my favorite store of theirs, but I haven't really found anything there in maybe three years. But anyway, the store in New York, do I even need to say it? You guys know why I'm going in here. Those PS3 move games, especially those like on light games. I want, I want the Time Crisis Rising Storm. I've been having a ton of fun with um, House of the Dead Overkill. You know, I've been downloading all the stuff because the eShop's closing. I want those PlayStation 3 Move games. I love the PlayStation 3 Move. I can't believe I was missing out on this thing all these years. Uh, I, I vaguely remember when that thing came out, and it wasn't even a bleep on my radar at all, but there's just some really cool stuff for that thing, man. I want the, hell, I'll take the Michael Jackson experience. You know, I always wanted to learn how to moonwalk. It, you know, especially what I do for work. If I could just like spontaneously just bust that shit out, that would be awesome. If I can buy a PlayStation 3 game, a move game that would get me closer in my life to being able to do something like that, I'm all about that. But anyway, guys, let's, let's see what I find. Okay, so this is what I got. I don't know if any of this stuff is any good, but I know me and my kid were playing House of the Dead Overkill the other night, and they had another one of these there. This was 20 at the store. I don't see these that often. I want one of the handguns, but I, I just had to get another one of these. I just I, I just had to get it, so that was 20. I saw this. Now, I have one move controller, and I have I don't need the camera in there, but this came with the box and the game, and it was only 35. I mean, the move controllers alone sell for 30 to 40 sometimes. I, I just, I thought this was a good deal. It has the game and the camera. I already have a camera, so I guess I, I now I got a backup camera. So I, they, since they had, and they have a few different move boxes, like scattered around the store, like on the ceiling. I don't know if that stuff's for sale, if it's promotional, like display stuff, because sometimes stores don't sell stuff like that, but maybe they will. I'm going to try to get them to sell some of that stuff, because 35 for this? Yeah, see? I don't know, but it comes with everything that you see pictured right there. But anyway, I got that. So keep in mind, so that's, what, like 55 So I spent a little bit of money on that, but again, I feel like this is decent. Let me Let me know in the comments, I mean, do you think... That's worth it for this. I know years ago, guys, at the flea market, this shit was super cheap. But you know the hype on the PS3 right now. You know this stuff is going to start going up. I just want to get it now. That way I have it. So I got that. So let's see what else I got. All right. So games now. I got quite a few games. I'll show you the one PS4 game that I got because they saw the limited run stuff. They did have a copy of uh, Demon's Tear for um, the PS4. I really enjoy this game. It's like a like a twin stick shooter. I think it's pretty cool. I actually have this for the Vita um, and I have it downloaded on my Switch. So since they sold it for, I guess that's what the retail was on it, 40 bucks. I mean, it's new. So I got uh, Demon's Tear. Just, you know, well, I saw it. I, was just, I had to have it. Just had to have it. All right. All these are move games. Everything else. See all that? All that's PlayStation Move. So, all right. First game. We have Bioshock Infinite. I don't know how the the gun shoot the gunplay shooting is with this with the PlayStation Move. I have no idea, but I just see the Move compatible uh, logo right there. Oh, and keep in mind this game is inside of here, so I do have that. That was ninety nine cents inside the store, and I had it. They had four copies of this, um, so I, I just put the one back on the shelf because one was actually inside of the box. So I do have that. So that was actually the first game um, shown. Uh, let me know. I'll go into greater detail if this is any good. I gotta play it first. It might just be a bunch of crap, but I mean, it was ninety nine cents, so you know, for thirty five, it did have the game in there. But Bioshock Infinite. Also, let me know in the comments. Do you have a PlayStation Move? Are the Move controls implemented in this in a way where it's like a a fun arcadey shooter? You know, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But Bioshock Infinite. Okay. And we have, okay, this is probably the more interesting. This is one of the ones that I was looking for. We have Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2011. Now, the, the two good ones that I saw a lot of people mention online are Dangerous Hunts, or there's one that's like 2009 and 2011. This was the only one of all the Cabela stuff in the store that had a PlayStation Move compatible uh, logo on the box. Um, and it was only five bucks. Um, that is kind of, you know, when you see a game like this and you think about paying like $5 for that, 
But yeah, when it's like an arcade shooter, like watch this be the kind of thing, like weird thing, like this is the kind of thing that you're going to see on eBay for like a uh, hundred dollars or, you know, something crazy like that. But anyway, uh, Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2011. And also if you've played this before and it's awesome, let me know in the comments. Uh, okay. That was probably the one I was the most excited about. Okay. We have Medieval Moves. Um, I don't know anything about this. I just saw the PlayStation Move um, seal on the box there. I don't know. I don't know. Is this any good? Let me know. I mean, it was, it was 99 cents. If I find an awesome move game and it's only 99 cents, then we're going to, we're going to be on to something here on this channel. We're going to find, uh, cause all these move games are really cheap. So I don't mind gambling a couple of dollars. Hell, even if it's a pushing it at 20 for a move game. And I think it's even remotely interesting I'll, I'll pop on it because I'll I'll get rid of it some type of way or, or, you know, pretty much throw away the $20 and buy in the game. But, you know, let me know. Is this thing any good or is this just a piece of crap shovelware? Let me know in the comments, guys. All right, we got uh, we got one more here. One more. $2.99. So this is a $3 game. We have Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. I have never seen this before. But again, I see when they're spined out, you know, you can see the PlayStation Move. Anything that's PlayStation Move on its spine is going to have that blue logo right there on the box. At least everything that I've seen. So, yeah, I look for that. They had a couple other games in there. There was like a, not a tennis game. There was like a, a singing game where you hold the the Move controller like a microphone. You know, stuff like that I'm not that interested in. But who who knows? That's the, the type of thing that might be like the, the, the best you know, the Michael Jackson experience. I should have got that. The reason I mentioned that earlier is uh, at the flea market, I saw that and I thought about it and I was like, damn, I should have got that. It was only a, it ain't as cheap as they are here though. I'll be honest, you know, just press play is pretty cheap for this stuff, but that's what it should be. You know, ain't nobody buying this, but they are people like me are now though. But anyway, Tom Clancy's signature edition, ghost recon future soldier on the PlayStation, uh, PlayStation three. And it's compatible with the PlayStation Move. I would feel a little bit better if it required the Move because then you would have to use those Move controls to get through the game. I feel like that would that would push the developers to make the Move controls really, really, really good if you had to use them to actually play and get through the game. I took the time and I drove all the way out here to Lancaster. I'm going to go to one more Just Press Play after this, but I did find a couple of things out here. Let me, uh, let me show you what I found. Let's have a look inside this bag of secrets. And what do we have here? A Nyko Perfect Shot for the Wii. I did get some stuff for the Wii. I got one PS3 game here. but uh, And they did, yes, they did have the Michael Jackson experience. No, I didn't get it. I'm going to hold off. If I see the price on that thing start to go up, I'm going to get that. Believe me, I'm going to get that. Eventually, I'm going to get the Michael Jackson experience, unless it turns into like an unreachable, unobtainable game. But anyway, Nyko Perfect Shot. I've never seen one of these with this guard on the end. So that really intrigued me. And I have one of these for the Wii, but I did get some Wii games we're about to look at. And I never see these things this cheap. The price on these things is going up. But here we go. We got a Nyko Perfect Shot for the Wii. Unfortunately, they did not have one for the PS3. If I score one of those, that's gonna that's like a that's one of those like bucket list items. All right, here we go. We got Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2013. I figured since I'm going for all that move supported Cabela stuff on the PS3, I figured the Wii stuff might be decent. Um, now, one thing I'm seeing here on a lot of these Wii games, this Zapper Gun, I'm seeing this is supported. Now, at Just Press Play, and here we are at Just Press Play, we're in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I wish I could give you a better view of the storefront, but that's it right there. Um, I've been seeing this, this logo right here. They had one of those. It was 10 bucks. I didn't get it. So let me know in the comments, should I get some of these Wii Zapper things? I'll get as many of them as I can, like, you know, at least two of them, um, if they're worth getting, but I do have two Nyko Perfect Shots now. I got one at home. But anyway, here, that's uh, Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2013 on the Nintendo Wii. And next on the Wii, we have Deer Drive. You know, this is one of those things that should be like 50 cents somewhere. Yeah, this is five bucks, but that looks like an arcade -y style of game. I mean, that uh, you never know, guys. This might be something that turns into one of those like crazy hidden gems. Um, I usually don't go crazy in buying this many games, especially games that I would consider to be shovelware. I mean, come on, look at that. 
I mean, I never thought I would see myself buying a game like like this. This is absolutely insane. But here we are, and it's 2021, it's, uh, and I have a copy of Deer Drive in my hand for the Nintendo, <laughs> for the Nintendo Wii. All right, next up, we have Buck Fever. What is it with these Wii deer hunting games that I just got? And they're all five bucks. Um, it's obvious why I picked this up, right? Right there, arcade-style hunting action. Look at that. It's a nice set of antlers. But, yeah, hopefully it's uh, it touts what it says it does on the front of the case. I mean, if it's a fun arcade shooter, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, checking this thing out. And, again... Again, we have one of those Zapper logos right there, so I'm starting to feel like I need to get one of those things. And the last game that we got, and yes, it is a PS3 game, and it is a Cabela's game, and that's what I wanted the most, the Cabela's games. And here we have Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2012. Now, I did not see this on anyone's like best of list for, and there are Cabela's games on the top of this best of list. I didn't see this on any best of list, but it did have move controller support. A lot of those Cabela's games do not say about half of them do, half of them don't. But uh, at Just Press Play, they have a bunch of the Cabela guns that you can use. I don't know if you need sensors for them and stuff. I don't know. That'd be cool if they had sensors and you can use them to play Time Crisis 4. Because getting a sensor for that Gun Con 3 is like almost impossible. But hopefully this thing's decent. This was the most expensive one in there. $9 for that. For this shovelware-ass game. Hopefully it's the bomb, though. It's arcadey and fun. Maybe it's not. If it's not, I'll just I'll dump it somewhere. But, you know, I am going for all that move stuff now. And, you know, I see something like this. I'm going to pick it up. This is my last stop. This is the other Just Press Play in Lancaster. I just went to the other one. The main one, I think. This is the other one. This is the one that the other one that I mentioned before where I didn't know the location that I used to find decent games at. That's where we are. So let's see if I find any decent move games. I'm going to try to stay away from the Wii. I mean, I know I'm buying shovelware, guys, but let's see if I actually find something decent or it's maybe they just have a bunch of shovelware crap. I don't know. Let's find out. So this is it. They had some other move stuff, but this is the only stuff I wanted to try out. Sorcery. This one's missing its manual. Hell, I don't even know if a manual actually came with this thing when it came out. I think during the PS3 era, a lot of these games, they started to cut the manuals. That's some of them. Some of them, but... Yeah, I don't know. Let me know if any of you guys have played this. I have no idea if it's good or not. And this right here, I've never seen this before. Look at that. PlayStation Move Heroes. I feel like this right here would be sought after in the future. I've never seen it. It was five, five bucks. It has its manual, but uh, it's required. See that? I love that. I love that on both of these. That's the thing these have in common. Both of these say PlayStation Move required. So like you have to have it to play the game. And that's that's what I want. I want to be able to actually play a game where the controls were implemented to be used specifically for that game, not just add it on if you want to use them, because then it's not... I feel like they wouldn't make the controls as as necessary, so it probably wouldn't play as well, but that's just me, you know, I, I, for, I don't know. But anyway, that's what I got. I got PlayStation Move Heroes and Sorcery from the other Just Press Play in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. This is everything that I got. I did get some Wii stuff. I got a Wii uh, Nyko Perfect shot. I thought that was a great find. Pretty good price considering what they're going for online. And that little flap at the top to hold the Wii mode in there, it's still attached to it. Never seen that before. All the PS3 move games that I got. Got another gun. They had new guns. Weird. They had new guns in the same packaging for 40 and some for 20 The ones that were 20 looked like they were newer and in better shape. I don't know. That move uh, bundle right there for 35 I feel like that's a pretty decent deal. I feel like stuff like that, you're not going to see it in the future. Who knows? Maybe I'm just crazy and nobody's going to want that stuff. And uh, Demon's Tear, I know that's a good game. I've played it. I figured, oh, I might as well pick it up on the PS4 for 40 bucks because I'm sure that's what the retail is. I know they have a thing with limited run games. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's everything that I got. I went pretty Toro Loco on uh, the three out of the four Just Press Play stores that I went to out in Pennsylvania. But uh, yeah, guys, I appreciate you watching and until next time, peace.